How's it hanging YouTube? It's Peter here, your Ginger Geordie Geek. Welcome back to Triple J Comics. Today we're going to be talking about the brand new He-Man and the Masters of the Universe uh, cartoon that's out on Netflix. I've watched it, I've binged the entire 10 episodes, and uh, I'm going to be letting you know a little bit about what I think. I'm doing this because it's a bit of a while since we've done a super powered popcorn and, and looked at um, movies or TV series, and He-Man is something, as you will know if you watch this channel, I'm absolutely passionate about. I am an 80s child um, and I, I have very fond memories of He-Man. Before we get into that, just a quick mention. Um, first of all, we've got two giveaways, so please check those out. We've got a 500 subscriber video, link to the video up here, um, where we're giving away the Punchline um, first appearance set. And we've also obviously got our monthly comic book giveaway, again, link to that video up here, um, where we give 23 comic books away to a subscriber every month. Before we start, I just want to mention that recently I was um, very lucky to be invited into a fellow YouTuber's um, live stream. That's Rod uh, the Recon um, from Just a Recon and His Comics. Um, I'll put a link to his page in the, the description and hopefully up here. Lots of links. Bound to forget these, aren't I? But never mind. Rod's link hopefully will be up here. And I took part in a show of his called Lame or Frame. If you've not seen this, it's absolutely tremendous. Really good show. Um, worth a watch. Basically, um, there's a, a, a comic book geek related topic of the of the week and the contestants on it have to draw images um in 20 uh, sorry two minutes um at random great fun really enjoyed it in the past he's done things like transformers which i know loads about and i love he's done marvel comics which i know loads about and i love he's done um he-man which i know loads about and love this week he did um the video game zelda which I know absolutely bot all about. Never played the game, never taken part in the uh, Nintendo craze of it, so I was a bit lost, I have to say. That said, I think that bossed it. I didn't win, and I think there was probably some cheating going on, but I, I, I thought it was absolutely tremendous. I had a great time, great fun, um, it, just well worth checking out, so please check that out. Just to show you a little bit of some of the images I did, this is my Link. Um, yeah, that's Link. I also did, oh Christ, um, I'm not even sure what that is. I think that's Lady Zelda. Oof. Wouldn't, I mean, she looks a bit like some of the ladies you see around in the pubs in Newcastle. Bit of a Weatherspoons lass, I think. Anyway, great fun, well worth checking out. Please go and have a look at it. Um, what I would say is, one of the great things about it is you meet a lot of new people, so some great content creators on the panel. Um, please go and check them out. I'll try and put the links in the description for as many of them as I can. Um, there was a really nice guy I met called Ephraim who's from Pass Point One Comics. Again, I'll put the link up here. Um, hoping to do some work with, with Ephraim in the coming months, so look out for that. Okay, so we're here today to talk about the new Netflix Masters of the Universe series. It is not to be confused with the recent Kevin Smith series. Um, what to say about that? I'm a geek. I always have been. I love my 80s cartoons. I love He-Man. I love Transformers, Mask, Brave Star, all that kind of jazz. Visionaries. I used to like Visionaries. They were good. Um, all that kind of stuff. So any time I get a He-Man... I'm, I'm pretty happy because as a good friend of mine, um, Luke um, from from Hydra Collectibles said, anything that keeps franchises alive is good in our eyes. I, I really like that. Mention Luke, please go and check out his channel, Hydra Collectibles. He's got some tremendous um, stuff about He-Man. If you like He-Man, that kind of stuff, please go and check that out. Um, so yeah, anything that keeps a franchise alive is good for me because I just want this story to keep going. I won't necessarily watch it all. So, for example, I've not actually caught up with any of the Shira um, stuff, so I've not watched that. But it's keeping it going, so I'm good with that. I was personally really worried about all the flack Kevin Smith got for his last show, and I know there are very, very passionate fans out there who pulled that show to bits before they'd even seen it. Um, there were passionate fans who pulled it a bit after they'd seen it as well. It, it just seems to have gotten absolutely slaughtered, that show, for various reasons. I watched it, and I liked it. It was good fun. I watched it with my son, who knows very little about He-Man. He loved it. And for me, it, it kind of kept the character alive in the new generation. So, so I was really pleased about that. This new show, I have to say I saw the artwork a while ago for it, and I thought, oh... That's not going to be for me. I'm not I'm not a big fan of that style of CGI animation. Um, but I thought I would give it a watch. 
started watching it last night I watched the first two episodes um, was extremely impressed and then I've binge watched the rest of it so I've watched the entire series now um, and just off the bo off the off the, the shot there I'll tell you I think it's tremendous really really enjoyed it so um, the Kevin Smith He-Man I think was very much designed as a bit of a homage for us guys that watched it in the 80s and um, it's quite nostalgic now lots of people will disagree with that and say well they've ruined it they've changed Tila blah 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 all the rest of it for me it felt like a bit of a it was an attempt at a, a fan service the animation style the they try to keep it very um very adult and I, I liked a lot of the episodes I liked the character development I thought it was really well done this show is very different this show is not written for 45 year old ginger fat blokes it's written for kids um, and it's written I think to try and get a new generation hooked on the character of He-Man it's fair to say that the show um, whilst it uses the name He-Man and the Masters of the Universe there's not a lot of He-Man that I recognise in there that's I'm saying that I'm talking cack that said I, part of the fun for me was seeing some of these new versions of characters and at times trying to figure out who they were and how they equated to the old characters for me there was enough hints and, and threads of your old He-Man to keep me very in, interested and very entertained I liked what they did with a lot of the characters animation style I loved it I thought the animation was really good like I say initially not a big fan I thought the characters looked a bit weird and um, but it, it suits the show and I enjoyed it what they've done with the characters is really interesting Um He-Man in my mind is is He-Man a young He-Man by the power of Grayskull I have the power I loved Battle Cat and Cringer. Um, Ram, Mam. Oh, I like the character. Don't like the name. Ram, Mam. Uh, um, but I like the character. I like what they did with her. Um, sorry, going back, what I should say, lot, obviously lots of spoilers in this, is one of the things they've done in this series is that they've shared the power of Grayskull. So all of He-Man's support and cast, like he did with Cringer, really, in the, in the first series, all of his support and cast like your version of Ram Man, your version of Man at Arms um, and your version of um, Teela all get some of the power of Grayskull. By the power of Grayskull! We have the power! And it transforms them. Animation for that is tremendous and I'm a 45 year old man and I have to say I was grim from ear to ear with some of the, the music choices, the animation style. When they do things, it's it's very anime, it's very um very Power Rangers, I guess. It, some of the kind of the power-ups, like when he accesses the lightning powers and stuff like that, I just loved. Bit repetitive when you watch it streaming, I have to say. Um, but I loved, I loved the transformation scene. The theme song. Oh! exciting I think that's what I missed from the Kevin Smith version I didn't really get much of a theme song or a, there wasn't much excitement in the music whereas this you know when he transforms into He-Man it's brilliant when he the theme song like I said is absolutely low I love it um yeah I'm, I'm geeking out a little bit here I have to say I enjoyed it it's not your traditional He-Man but for what it is I liked it I will look forward to watching the second series oh cool. well I shouldn't like that I, I absolutely loved what they did with Orko in the Kevin Smith version I thought he had a real good um, story arc and it was I mean it was very emotional <laughs> very emotional when he died <gasps> I hope you've seen it um, this version of Orko is a robot that kind of gets downloaded the previous Orko's memories and things like that and I didn't want to like it if I'm honest but I did I thought it was really good um, I enjoyed it I enjoyed the the comedy element it brought and I enjoyed the story arc for, for that character as well so um, what did I think overall overall 
this is a, a version of he-man that's i don't think written for me i think it's i think it's written for a younger generation that said i thoroughly enjoyed it i hope it it kind of it hits in all the right notes for the younger generation i hope it it um, is a success because it keeps he-man alive what a tremendous time to be a he-man fan you know we've got the kevin smith version regardless of what you think about it we've got lots of he-man comics on the shelves we've got the she-ra series we've got this now this new animated version and there's rumors and rumblings of a she-ra tv series so fantastic time to be a fan and um, great figures and action figures out there so they're all worth looking at as well so yeah i thought it, this i thought the series itself had some brilliant standout moments some excellent action in it and um, it is very much written for children as i've said on a few occasions that said and um, there's some good adult themes in there and there's also a lot of humor a lot of tongue-in-cheek now i don't know how much of that's done on purpose but there's a scene on i think it's the last episode or the second last episode the last two episodes by the way are absolutely tremendous um but there's a scene where the masters of the universe are stood outside of snake mountain and skeletor is kind of speaking to them over a, a radio and i don't know if it was intentional or what but i couldn't help but go back to the old snake mountain toy and the voice changer speaker thing you had and how it crackled and all the rest of it and i just chuckled because i thought I, I think that's what they're getting at i think they're basically reminding us old farts of, of that toy maybe that was me reading too much into it i don't know um so summing up he-man and the masters of the universe um i really enjoyed it i hope it takes off um worth a watch if you like he-man worth a watch if you've got younger kids get them to watch it uh, and get a new generation of he-man fans um engaged on the gingometer i'd give it a solid a solid four gingers nuts out of five i think okay thanks very much for watching really interested to know what your views are let us know in the comments below if you've liked it if you haven't liked it not interested in your thoughts on revelations because that seems to have become so divisive and aggressive that it's kind of soured the show if i'm honest i think it's a real as a fan i think it's a real sad kind of path we're going down here i'm getting into dark territory here but what i'll say is before i watched this new version of masters of the universe i did have a look on some of the reviews on youtube um and they were awful absolutely scathing um one in particular i won't mention the channel's name but was absolutely ripping this thing to shreds saying it was an abomination it was terrible and blah 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 and, then, and it wasn't until i looked down on the video i realized the video had been posted four months ago when they'd seen the initial image of he-man so they'd never seen any of the bloody program but they'd already destroyed it online as a geek and as a fan i think that's a real dangerous path we take i think it's a real sad path we take because we're so wrapped up i suppose in my nostalgia that we're destroying these franchises um if this show gets a hammering like the kevin smith show is that the end of he-man you know do, do the the big books companies say what's the point in producing more everybody hates it for me that that's quite sad doesn't mean we have to go in and pull stuff apart sorry doesn't mean we have to go in and be blinkered and say, say things are good if they're not that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is we need to stop pre-judging things before i've actually sat down and watched it would be my argument i've done that i did prejudge this by some of the imagery i suppose but i gave it a chance and i've absolutely loved it so thanks very much for watching let us know what you think and i'll catch you next time